Antoinette Doug, good morning. We've seen so many images in the past few days of women and children reuniting with their families. This group says despite their joy about that, there are still so many fathers and brothers who remain in captivity. Family and friends of Israeli hostages shared their stories last night here at Temple Emanuel in Newton. They want more done to bring home all hostages. Many say they've watched relatives reunite with family, but they remain deeply concerned about the others still missing. It's, it's ridiculous that only women and children are allowed to be released because men suffer too. Men hurt too, men have feelings too. We're so happy to see that uh, women and kids and elderly came back home. We're so excited to see these photos, but meanwhile, we're so jealous of these families. Ophir Tarfati was celebrating his 27th birthday at the Nova Music, Music Festival when Hamas attacked on October 7th. He helped his girlfriend escape before he was shot and kidnapped, taken into Gaza. His friends call him their hero and they hope to reunite with him soon. Bring Our People Home told us they plan to meet with Senator Ed Markey here in Massachusetts today. They then plan on moving on to New York City to meet with more lawmakers there. We're live in Newton this morning. Jennifer Egan, WCVB News Center. Five.